function. Today I thought I'd like to talk to you about decor and our homes. And I was thinking about the fact that for so long we keep the various pieces of furniture in the same places, the various ornaments in the same places, which go on and on, and it's amazing. And we get fed up and we don't even realise sometimes why we're fed up. And we look at something and we think, well, what can we do with that? And where can we put that? So what I was thinking was, I'd just show you something that I've done recently. I have transformed this area in my house. It used to have the settee here and nothing else except for this lovely um, embroidery, which I can show you later on. And I thought, oh, I just want a change. So I decided to move this beautiful console table. It's mirrored. It's got lovely little, uh, I don't know what, mirrored chips inside there and there, a little mirror um, and uh, a little um, drawer. And I found some um, of my ornaments and decided to, you know, place them around, something different. And I've created a whole new look. And I've got my beautiful Transina, uh, Dracina, which I've put here. Transina, I'm thinking of transcending, you see. <laughs> anyway, this is my Dracina, and she's she's some years old now. I've had her for some time. Um, but look how bushy and, and fluffy she looks, and she looks a bit like a little palm tree to me, and she always gives me a lift. I always think of the islands whenever I look at her, so I am absolutely adore her. Anyway, um, so as you can see, this has been um, arranged. And what I've done is I've found I have these two pieces that were bought for me by my beautiful husband, my lovely husband. And um, this one is from Royal Dalton. And I'm just trying to think of the name. Yes, Summer Bell. Don't know how well uh, you can see her right now she's absolutely beautiful and I mean she could have been just put somewhere and you know knocked and chipped and and I'm always worrying about her because she was quite expensive and she's quite beautiful anyway so now this is uh, a new place and uh, she looks quite nice there I thought so as I have another one I've placed them on either side and um, this one, I'll show you this one because she's absolutely lovely. She looks like Cinderella to me. And she's called Sweet Radiance by the English Ladies Company. And I'm not sure how well you can see her. She's absolutely wonderful. She just reminds me of Cinderella, really, but, but she isn't. And. Um, She's beautiful, she's pink and she has gold on and everything. Anyway, I'm just saying that, you know, you have some things sometimes and you might have one over there and one over there, but why not rearrange some things and, and make something look a little different again, fresh and new and, and beautiful and luxurious because that's what we want, isn't it? We want luxury in our homes and it's so easy to just get carried away with everything and just sort of, you know, just take everything as it is and, you know, you don't even realise what you've got sometimes. But if you look around and you think of some favourite things of yours and you think, well, maybe I could put them over there or over there and just, just do it. Because since I've done this, I feel so much better. And the room has got much more room because of removing the settee, which was just getting in the way, basically. Um, and having the plants on either side is quite nice, I thought. Nice change. Behind, uh, there's a big beam at the back there. So she stands in front of the beam for the time being anyway. And I've got her on um, rollers so I can move her around because she's very, she's very heavy. And uh, here I've got some beautiful crystal um wonderful crystal candle holders that my husband bought me again some years ago now. I've always got them somewhere in the house, but you do tend to forget that you've got these things. 
And then there's these lovely little things here. And like, um, I don't know what to say, but they're, they're all about the garden and fairies and things like that. And they're so nice and large and white and cheerful. So I've put one on the inside. Just like that. And a few sprigs of fake um, orchids, white. And I thought that looked quite nice. So I'm going to be showing you um, somewhere around me in the video this lovely embroidery. I've had this since before I was married, so it's a long time. And um, I think it's Chinese, some kind of Oriental. And it's absolutely wonderful. It's a beautiful embroidery. It has uh, a rooster, it has an owls, it has all kinds of different birds going on the tree. It's a tree. It goes all the way up. You can see the light and the dark. And I mean, this could have been just put away somewhere or other, but I've always had it on display because it was our first holiday together and it was before we were married, so it's a soft spot for me. Um, and, you know, we have a picture light. And also we've got this moulding that I had put on some time ago now, but I still love it. I think, you know, you can get them off with a bit of work, but I like them. And I did it to break up the wall because at the time our walls were just one colour from floor to ceiling. And so what I did was I, I, I put a dado rail on, I put one colour down here and one colour up there to break the wall, and then a moulding with, of course, the picture in the middle there. And I just think instead of just a plain wall, all one colour, um, you know, I thought I'd, I'd break it up. Um, but having said that, and I think actually, I think this, this sort of a blue, this is actually like a deep turquoise, is actually in now, because for a long time we were all about white, white everywhere. Um, but now they're trying to bring in a little colour into our homes. So um, I'm going to keep this wall, I think, turquoise and cream. And I'm thinking over there, I'm going to make that white. I'm not sure about anywhere on the other side of the room. But this is what you can do. You can just mix and match. You don't have to have the same everywhere around your home. So as long as they tone in, and, and white is so versatile because you can put anything with it, can't you? Um, and of course, with me, I've got my white curtains. I'm not sure how much you can see right now because I've tilted the camera around. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you that you can create a new look <clears throat> in one of the areas of your home. And it gives you a lovely lift. And once you do do this, by the way, um, seriously do it, I mean, because this is, it was quite serious because I took the set away. Um, you just want to, you just, you're looking all the time now for somewhere else, somewhere else that you can dress up and change. Anyway, I thought I'd let you uh, see what I've done today. And um, this is only my second video. So I've hoped you've, um, it's given you some inspiration for you to do something different in your home with some of the things that you have. You don't have to go out and buy a whole load of new stuff. You can just, Pick some favourite stuff around your home, arrange them in some way or other, and hey presto, you've got a new look. So with that, I'll just say goodbye for now, and see you again next time. Bye! <laughs>